They're hot, tasty, and they're everywhere. Who doesn't like burgers? They're as much a part of the American culture as apple pie. From Connecticut to California, we're on a search for some of the best burger experiences around. Mm. It's the most popular sandwich in the world. Whether they're round or square, you'll want to join us for an amazing adventure as we take a trip to Hamburger Paradise. Welcome back to Hamburger Paradise, where we return to the sunny shores of Southern California for a meat-free incarnation of America's favorite sandwich, the veggie burger. Believe it or not, vegetables have been in burgers since World War I when potato meal, cornmeal, and soy were used to stretch limited meat supplies. But it wasn't until 1982 in London, England, that the hamburger went veggie all the way. And you can find a delicious take on this meatless meal at The Spot in Hermosa Beach, California, where owner Tanya Baudet has been on the no meat beat for over 25 years. Well, the spot was originally established in 1977. We bought it in 1980. It was my favorite restaurant. The guy that owned it before us was a surfer. And one day we came by, there was a sign on the door that said, here today, gone to Maui. A friend of mine called me up and said, the spot's for sale. And I said, oh, I owned a restaurant. Do you need any ketchup or mustard? OK. Usually the vegetarian comes first and then the vegetarian restaurant, but for Tanya, it was the other way around. I'm the accidental vegetarian, for sure. I was into health food, I wasn't vegetarian yet, but when we opened on July 10th, 1980, and never had meat again. How you doing? Good. I think I'm going to have a veggie burger. Okay, which one? I'll have a cheddar cheese veggie burger. And what are you going to drink? Uh, just green tea. For local vegetarians and meat lovers alike, the spot is as much a part of the culture of Southern California as the ocean and the laid-back lifestyle. We are the oldest existing vegetarian restaurant in Los Angeles, and we are a landmark in the city of Hermosa Beach. Terry, how's your burger? It's really good. All right, great. It's very hearty. The beans are excellent. Good, and you're from Brazil, yeah, so you know beans. Oh, yes, yeah, you do. Exactly. I just love it because it's local to me, but people, whenever they come and visit me from out of town, they always want to come back to the spot. Hermosa Beach is a great little community. It's really tight-knit. When we first opened up, it was a real sleepy little town, but now it's a vacation destination. When Tanya bought the spot in 1980, the veggie burger hadn't been invented yet. In 1982, she added the meat-free sandwich to her menu. But the perfect burger didn't happen overnight. I didn't want to do pretend meat. We couldn't find a veggie burger that we could buy over the counter that was up to our standards. So we started working on this recipe that's made from all natural organic ingredients. We make it from beans, rice, nuts, and seeds. The beans and rice are cooked and combined with the nuts and seeds. Then comes soy cheese, the magic ingredient that transforms the organic mixture into the makings of a burger you can really sink your teeth into. <laughs> we bake them, we don't fry it, anything. So it entails a lot of ingredients and a lot of time. It's a very distinct burger. It doesn't taste like anything else. I mean, it's got a real natural taste to it. It doesn't actually have the consistency of a regular burger, but it looks like beef. Put it on the bun, it feels like you're eating a hamburger. I love this burger, and it's just so hearty. I end up cutting it in half and eating it with a fork. And I always have to take some home because she always serves so much. My husband's from Argentina. He, even, he won't even know that it's not meat. I'm sure he's going to go for it. The effort that Tanya puts into her burgers has been returned tenfold as the spot has drawn raves from the critics. Oh, my God. This is so good. And attracts happy customers day and night. We sell about 60 or 70 a day, and we only see 40 people. And the spot is not just for the wheat, grass, and carrot juice crowd. In fact, the majority of the clientele are carnivores. Most of our customers are not vegetarian. One of my favorite stories is a man that came in one day, and he's sitting there munching on his burger, and he looks up at me and he says, what kind of meat is this anyway? You don't have to be a vegetarian to enjoy a vegetarian burger. For over 30 years, the spot has been a favorite landmark for natural food lovers in Southern California. Look how big this is. How do you get that around your mouth? 
But perhaps what's more important is what it's done for the veggie burger, proving it can be more than just a humdrum, tofu-laden alternative to beef. Oh, the veggie burger is definitely here to stay.